Hi everybody, Mona here from Mona Rose Art and it's a week of tips and a week of tricks and a week of arts and a week of uh, crafts and a week of making things on using cheap material and upgrade them and it's the week that I'm going to share with you the ins and outs of painting, of what I learned what paints, you know, what works, what doesn't work, and etc. It, it's gonna be, I thought I might as well just go ahead this week and make a lot of uh, tips in addition to showing some also pieces. So guys, um, the new uh, followers would not probably have seen the video that I made over this piece, this piece is I found in the Lorama and it's for $150 um, Canadian. So now this has two sheets and you know maybe if you have kids that this sheet is can be used and put in the microwave or the oven and I think the oven and, and how you can make a, a key holder or whatever. But I used it as, because it has such a, a, a thick, uh, you know, uh, it's, a, it's thick, sturdy. It has two sheets in, inside, but I don't open it before I make my skin. So basically, whatever you want to make your skin with, whether it's acrylic paints only or house paints and then acrylic paints with a whatever um, you can uh, put everything here and make your skin come next after like two days if your layer is thin like this you will get it dry in two days but why not why not give it a third day to make sure that when you actually pull it out it pulls just right over leaving just like you know things like this small areas you know so so this is anyhow i just use it you can see already but so what do i do with the uh, skin first so one thing is i make accessories this is made out of skin this is made out of skin but not every time i use skin and this is made out of skin then again the other day this fell on the plastic um, that i have on uh, on my um, my station let's say and then I was like this is beautiful and I just mixed it so I thought maybe I could make butterflies or whatever you know I will find a use for this thing and if you let's say I will show you two things that I made first from the sheets that are in this one here when you open it you find two sheets and so what I did at that time we didn't really have so many swipers and you, you have to improvise and 
My mother always told me that you don't have to actually buy expensive stuff to be able to do things, you know? So I kind of kept it in mind and uh, it's nice, nice advice, you know? And so what I did is I made all these shapes and forms of uh, swipers, whether it's triangles, whether it's uh, see some of it was used already, or or squares, or you know one side is bigger, one side is smaller, and basically then you do t two sheets together because one sheet I'll show you. One sheet is thin. You want two sheets, and I like I have here. I uh, have these two triangles here. And I can make them actually, cut them and make them into two triangles, and, you know. And I mainly use this for small tiles, but actually you could use them also on this sheet to, to swipe. They are actually a very, uh, you know, they are sturdy enough to put the pressure you need. It gets used to, I mean, you get used to how much pressure you use, uh, but I've used them and I will link the video that I've used them to make coasters. Now, this as well, you can line with this piece to make your butterflies sturdy, say. Now, I have here also a Dolorama piece. It's cheese board. I don't know how much I got it for, maybe $4. You can keep it the way it is. I like the look of the, uh, the wood in it. Or if you want to put just like a thin, uh, dark shape to it, you can do that as well. I did what? I did it to one of my uh, cheese board, so it's up to you then to use the skin wear. I put this just for an example, but I mean you can also, uh, you know, make uh, a look. Usually I don't, uh, I don't usually follow a regular shape or you know. And I'm just showing it for an example. You can also do this like this, you know. Maybe this is the way I cut it, I don't remember now. But anyhow, what I mean is, usually when I make my skin for these boards, maybe it's like this, yeah. Do you see it, guys? Now you can cut also here to here. I made that before. You can make half and half, or you can you can make just bit uh, with the skin and leave the rest uh, unused. But I mean, you know, this is uh, such a cheap way of getting products. Not cheap way, but one way of getting cheap products and upgrade them so i mean this is what i have and i had to explain with what i have the rest of the skin that i have are still um, not dry or or maybe like you know smaller in size or whatever um yeah so that's one tip guy and I hope this helps you and I will link the video that shows me making the, um, the skin on this piece of plastic and I will link the video that I shows how I use these elastic as swipers to make a set of coasters and they were gorgeous sets. Okay guys, hope this is uh, beneficial and Look at how many things you can do, right? Cheese boards, accessories, um, butterflies, any shape. I'm actually uh, now making uh, one piece for uh, uh, one animal, just name it. And again, you can use, this one I used, uh, I swiped with 
um, Australian float roll and what, titanium white. If you don't have Australian float roll and you know it's expensive, you can use silicone if you want shells. You can use um, coconut oil for hair, a few drops, and for your uh, swipe material and you just swipe and you get cells but you might might also want like sometimes i just put some um, acrylics on top of each other and i just take my toothpicks now a lot of secrets here and i just uh, go doodle, doodle i get i put a lot a bit of maybe gold or silver because you know it's uh, and i just like uh, play with it to form a shape or something and let it dry that's also one way you know i mean art has a lot of just put your hand in it i mean kids learn computers before us adults because they just press on every button and then they learn this button is for this and this button is for that while we want everything ready made right so when you put your hands in, in, in everything, basically, you will learn. So I hope you benefited from this. And uh, two more tips and tricks, arts and crafts for this week. Bye for now.